across the Solent by ferry to the Isle of Wight, and it is like stepping back twenty years. Much in favour with Queen Victoria, where Osborne House became a holiday home, the island has retained its Victorian heritage and atmosphere that makes it unique. Most of the population reside on the eastern side of the island, around Cowes, Ryde, Newport, Sandown and Shanklin. The west is less populated, the main town being Freshwater and its adjacent satellites of Totland and Colwell, with Yarmouth not very far away. Nearby is Freshwater Bay, which has an impressive coastline, a good place to stay, particularly for sunrises and sunsets. It is from here that our walk commences to the Needles over Tennyson Down, an airy walk of the highest quality. Before you do, why not pop into the local thatch church first? Tennyson Down is named after the poet, Lord Alfred Tennyson, who used to walk the down when he lived at nearby Farringford House, saying that the air was worth sixpence a pint. The down is a broad, whale-backed landscape and difficult to photograph without looking too dimensional. Initially, there is a pull-up, a short, steep section that soon levels out. Ahead, the Tennyson Monument comes into view, but it is further away than it looks. The landscape is devoid of foreground interest, compensated by the wide-ranging retrospect vistas over West White. There are steep chalk cliffs overlooking the English Channel, but great care needs to be exercised if approached. Upon reaching the summit, the monument can be included as foreground interest to the far-reaching views over West High Down. At the moment, the needles cannot be seen but in good light, Swanage and the Purbeck Hills are just discernible along with Bournemouth. Also in view across the Solent is the New Forest and Hurst Castle. There are not many views that better this vista, but neither is it easy to photograph, where the rule of less is more might come into play. This open splendour continues to the Needles Battery and, being National Trust, there might be an entry fee. It is worth dropping down a spiral staircase to a viewing platform. Alternatively, the views are just as good, if not better, from the free-to-enter 1950s rocket site, operated in secret testing Black Arrow Prospero and Black Knight. Only the concrete platforms remain. Retrace steps back to Freshwater Bay or continue to the commercial pleasures of Alum Bay and beyond to Hedden Warren, site of a Bronze Age burial mound with views significantly different to Tennyson Down. Alternatively, why not succumb to the pleasures of Alambe by dropping down to the beach to see its coloured sands? If, like me, you are suffering from a touch of weariness, you can always take the chairlift back to the top. 